You alright guys, Clinicality here, and I'm back with another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today, we have chosen to review Mario Goetzer. He didn't have the best time at Bayern, he's now back at Dortmund and hopefully he can carry on improving. And you can see on screen the team that we built him into. A 4 triple 2 is the formation I decided to go with. Not usually a favourite of mine, but seeing as the game is brand new, I wanted to try out a few different formations to see what works best and it wasn't a bad formation either. Now Goetz's base stats he has 70 pace, 70 shooting, 78 passing, 89 dribbling, really nice, 31 defending and 61 physical. So onto his in-game stats now and you can see he has a couple of standouts, 86 agility and 84 balance but the rest of his stats are fairly average. His skill attributes, however, are incredible. Look at those 90 ball control and 90 dribbling, 85 short passing as well, and 87 volley. Some great stats there. He's 5 foot 9. He can play cam, left mid, or centre mid, right footed, medium, medium work rates, 4 star weak foot, and 4 star skills. And he has the dribbler and acrobat speciality and the flair trait. So, just like every player, we played 6 games with him. In those games, we managed to score four goals and get two assists. That's six in six. That is pretty good. And he was very consistent in the fact that he popped up in five of the games with a goal or an assist. However, compared to the two players that I've already reviewed this year, that isn't the best return. One of which is that Draxler card that I have in the team with him. I'll leave a link to that video if you want to go check it out. But as I say, Goetze isn't terrible, but he does also have some very clear flaws. The first is his finishing, it was very inconsistent, which for me was a shock because in previous FIFAs he's been great at finishing for me. And also his strength, which is kind of expected as a camp, most players aren't going to be strong. But along with those very clear flaws, he also has very clear positive attributes. His dribbling is insane, he turns really well on the ball. If you're the type of guy that likes to use their cam, dribble through teams, he can do it for you. Obviously he has those 4 star skills as well. They combine really well with his dribbling. He has decent acceleration, but the other big standout on his card is his passing. His passing was absolutely brilliant. Yes, he only got two assists, but that was because the strikers really didn't turn up in these games that I played. He was playing great passes into them. They just weren't putting away their chances. So overall, a very good card. The big thing for me that was missing, though, was that shooting. If he'd have had that, he'd have scored so many more goals. But still a very nice card and for the price that you pay, I would definitely say he is worth picking up and putting into a team. So with everything considered, I'm going to give him an overall rating of 7 out of 10. He is a good card and he will definitely do the job for you. For what you get, he is fairly cheap. So I'm also going to give him a value for money of 8 out of 10. So overall, a nice card to use, particularly for those starter teams. However, there definitely will be some better attacking mids on this game for sure. But that's going to be it from me. If you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful, then a like would be much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here. I have another player review coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned on my channel for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.